Let's turn to the national polls. The latest Wall Street Journal poll finds that former President Donald Trump is up two percentage points nationwide over Vice President Kamala Harris. The previous poll had Harris up two points. Both numbers are within the margin of error. Aaron Zittner returns to us this morning. He's a reporter and editor at the Wall Street Journal. You thought you got rid of us, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're seeing some movement here now with this national poll. What do you see in this, and what does this tell us as we move towards Election Day? Well, these polls that we've been conducting are all within the margin of error. As you said, she was up two in August. He's up two now. Mm -hmm. In between those, we tested all the battleground states, all margin of error. But under the hood, there are some troubling signs for Kamala Harris. Uh, so what, tell us what we're looking at right now. This is a favorability. Yeah, uh, look at the blue line. That's the share of people who have a favorable view of Kamala Harris. After a burst of enthusiasm and excitement, she was viewed very favorably. She seems to have peaked. It's either her message or this is what happens when $300 million in negative ads are dropped in your, on your head. Her favorability has declined, and Donald Trump is, Donald Trump is finishing strong in these numbers. And one is, is you see that in this favorability numbers. They are both below 50 percent, though. So, uh, you know, while Trump has come up, um, Harris isn't all that far behind. Is this people just making up their minds finally, or is this people who have changed opinion? Well, just about every... Well, I can tell you something about mm -hmm. that. Among the people who voted in 2020, mm -hmm. they voted in our poll for Biden by five points. Now that same set of people, they're in favor of Trump by one point. That's a six-point mm -hmm. swing in margin among people who voted in 2020, and they're very likely to vote again. They've turned a bit of an, against Kamala Harris. Let's go to another one, because this is approval ratings right now. Uh, Donald Trump right now um, and, and, and Kamala Harris. What does this tell us? What does this show Tom, us? this is, to me, a very important slide. I would focus on the Trump numbers. By four points, people view his, pres his time as president uh, uh, in an approving way rather than disapproving. Tom, we took more than 40 polls during the time that Donald Trump was president. Not in a single one did Trump... Uh, uh, his approval rating top 50 percent in not a single one did more people approve of his performance as president than disapprove. He's finishing strong here for the first time. He's above water on job approval by four points. We've never seen him this strong, certainly not during any time he was president. That's that's an important number. People have an increasingly rosy view of his presidency. A natural question pe somebody might have about this, though, is that you're asking about a, a four-year presidency of Donald Trump versus four years of somebody who was a vice president. Um, when you, you look at these two things, are, are these people reevaluating Trump, or are they not just now comparing it directly to the Biden-Harris years? I think it's both. The people have a... Uh, they've been persuaded that the economy was great mm -hmm. under Trump, and by many measures it was. Of course, during the COVID period, we had a different economic picture. Uh, partly, they're remembering what life was like then, and they're comparing it to what they think. The conundrum, though, Tom, is mm -hmm. the economy, by all the traditional metrics, is very strong, and Kamala Harris is not getting any benefit for that. All right, I want to go to this last one on yes. independence, because, you know, if there is anybody who has not made up their mind about this race, they might be it right now. Um, this is the Wall Street Journal poll of independence. Now, you have Harris with 43 percent, Trump at 47 percent. Um, how has Trump been able to kind of swing the, the independence towards him? Well, this is a very important uh, finding. One, two reasons. One, 90-some percent of Democrats are going to vote for Harris. 90-some percent of Republicans are going to vote for Trump. The independents swing these races. He's ahead among this group that's going to be dispositive. And then go back to 2020. Biden won independence by 14 points. Now the Democrats are losing them by four. That's a big change. Amazing. Aaron Zittner from the Wall Street Journal, always a pleasure to have you back here, my friend, and we appreciate uh, all the insight and analysis. Good to be with you, Tom.